Hi everyone, it's Kenneth from VS Code. Today I'm here to talk about the new GitHub pull request extension that we have made in collaboration with the GitHub team. Over the past many months, we've been busy collaborating with GitHub on enabling a rich pull request experience inside VS Code. Today we're announcing the public preview of GitHub pull requests, which is a new optional experience that you can install as an extension for VS Code. The extension allows you to authenticate and connect VS Code to GitHub, it allows you to list and browse pull requests from within VS Code. You can review pull requests within editor commenting, where we also added markdown support. We are also enabling a more natural PR workflow within editor checkout that enables you to use rich language features, such as go to definition and intelligence. And lastly, we're enabling a smooth terminal integration um, that enables the UI in VS Code to coexist with the Git CLI. GitHub pull request is a new type of VS Code extension. It's powered by a new set of APIs we have baked into the core of VS Code in order to enable code reviews and commenting. But enough talk, let me show you how it works. All right, so what I have here is uh, the Insiders edition of VS Code. Uh, I have a folder open called pull request demo, which is a node application we have put together to actually demonstrate this new pull request experience. The new thing you have here is that if you go to the source control section uh, in VS Code, you'll notice that, that we now have this new viewlet here called GitHub pull requests. What you can see in this viewlet is that you can see some categories uh, of pull requests uh, that are uh, available for me to browse. And there's one category here called waiting for, me, uh, waiting for my review. So I can expand this category and what you'll see here is that there's actually a pull request on this particular project uh, that's waiting for my review. So I can go expand it and what you see is that I can, uh, I can kind of get a description of what this pull request is all about, but can also see that the fab icon uh, in this PR is, uh, is deleted and I can kind of see that there's some index.js has been modified. But, but what I do here is that I just clicked on, on, on the description. So I have, what I'm presented with here is an overview of this particular pull request. I can kind of see that it's named like update route titles, it's something about like the route titles are being simplified and I can see Rachel here in my team has been adding some feedback or adding a comment uh, after some of the changes she made. Um, so like I'm a bit curious to, to know more about the changes you made so I can just go out here and I can open up routes, uh, uh, the route index.js file. What I'm presented here uh, with is a diff editor that is just giving me a nice overview uh, of, of the changes in this particular pull request and I can see like she's been adding a, kind of adding a comment that this is this too generic. Um, but you know what, like, this is kind of the same experience that I have on GitHub and uh, I think this is cool but, but we can also do, do better. So if, if I go back to, uh, to the GitHub o overview page, what you'll see that we have here in the top is that we have this new button called Checkout. This, uh, the, this workflow enables me to check out the, work, uh, the pull request by checking it out locally on my computer uh, and then enables me to do uh, like an in-depth review of the code. So if I click it, what you'll now see is that uh, it's now checked out this particular pull request. I am now in a, in, a, in a review mode. And if you go down here to the bottom, you can kind of see my branch selector has changed. It's now checked out that particular branch uh, for the pull request. And what's cool is that we now also see a new viewlet here in VS Code called changes in pull request. Here kind of have the same uh, description page I had before. I can kind of see the changes, but kind of, uh, I can also see the commits that were, that's inside this particular PR. And down here at the bottom, I kind of have a new panel that we call the comments panel. This panel gives me an overview of all the comments that has been added in this, uh, the, this particular PR. And I, I'm a bit curious just to see more about Rachel's comments, so I can just click here at the bottom. And what you see here is that I'm taking straight to the index.js index file with Rachel's comments shown in line inside my editor. So you know what, like she's asking is like this is, uh, this is too generic. You know what, I actually think this looks pretty good to me. So what I can do is I can just add the comment and bam, I just add, added the comment straight for my editor. But the, the key thing here is that because the source code for this particular pull request is checked out locally on my computer, is that I can also start taking advantage of some of like uh, the code uh, intelligence. So if I scroll up here in, in my code, I can kind of see that some of my, my variables here are kind of grayed out. So you can kind of see that request is declared, but it's, 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 it's actually never used. And I can see here that there's a variable here called product ID that is never used. So what I can do here is that it's not, it's, this is not strictly related to, to Rachel's changes, but I can add a comment and saying here looks like 
product ID isn't used, maybe remove. And if I can fix my typos here, then you can see here that I've just took advantage of like rich language features inside my editor and I can now, uh, now apply that knowledge uh, straight on my PR. But, uh, but overall, I kind of think that, you know, Rachel's changes looks, uh, looks pretty good. Um, but this deleted fav icon out here makes me a bit worried. Like, I don't know if this is like kind of having some impact on, uh, on the code. So what I can do here is that I can go to the integrated terminal inside VS Code and I can actually run my application. I can validate that things are working. So it's a node app, so I can just do an npm start. And what we are actually seeing here is that my node app, when I run npm start, is crashing, it's not working. And if I look at the error here, this error is actually related to the, to the missing fab icon. So this is some, 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 somehow required for the app to boot. And uh, this is interesting because if I just reviewed this outside of my, my editor, I would not have been able to catch an error like this. So uh, Rachel probably just like, she deleted this by mistake or something, but um, I, I should let her know. So what I can do is that I can go back to the description page. I can add a holistic comment on this, uh, this pull, pull request and saying, looks like the build is broken, deleted fab icon by mistake. And you know what, I can just say like, I, I will request some changes because this doesn't work. And bam, I just requested some changes that are now being, be being says, uh, sent to GitHub. So now I'm kind of finished with my, my pull request here. Um, so the way I can exit uh, my, my, my review is that I can either go up here and click the, the exit review mode button. Um, but because I'm kind of a, a terminal kind of guy, what I can do is that I can just go straight down here to the integrated terminal. Um, and I can just say git check out master because I just want to go back to the master branch. And what you see here is that I just checked out my master branch, but VS Code was kind of picking that change up uh, from the CLI that you, saw, you now see that the comments panel down here is, is gone. The changes in this particular PR viewlet is gone. And I'm just back to my regular master branch and I can continue my work. And this is kind of a nice way for me to finish my, uh, my code review. Uh, I don't, I've, don't need to leave my editor. I can just use the tools that are always used. That was the demo. Today we're announcing the public preview of GitHub pull requests. It's a preview, so we need your feedback to make it better. You can find it in our marketplace, so please try it out and let us know what you think on GitHub and Twitter. We're really excited on bringing code reviews inside the editor, and on behalf of GitHub and the VS Code team, happy coding!